السلام علیکم ساتھیو ابھی ابھی داماد جو ہے وہ دوڑتا ہوا اندر آیا ہے اور آ کے کہنے لگا کہ ڈیک کے ایک کنارے پر کارپٹ سنیک جو ہے وہ لٹکا ہوا ہے اور کافی بڑا سارا ہے تو ہم باہر آئے ہیں اور ہم نے دیکھا کہ یہ صاحب جو ہیں یہاں پر بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں ایک طرف سے ڈیک پہ چڑھ کے اور دھوپ سیک رہے ہیں تو انہیں اندازہ ہو گیا ہے کہ ہم سب ان کو دیکھ رہے ہیں یہی وجہ ہے کہ یہ ہل جڑ کے کہیں چھپنے کی جگہ تلاش کرنے لگے ہیں ایئر کنڈیشننگ گھر کی اس وقت آن ہے تو یہاں پر گرم ہوا ہے جہاں تک یہ بیٹھا ہوا ہے اور ایئر کنڈیشنر کے آؤٹر ہیٹ کی وجہ سے بھی یہاں پر فضاؤں میں مائسٹر ہوتا ہے تو ہم نے اس نے کیچر جو ہے اس کو بلایا ہے وہ پہنچتا ہی ہوگا اور پھر ہم آپ کو یہ سارا پروسیس جو ہے کہ کس طرح سے اس کو پکڑا جاتا ہے اور پھر ان کو لے جایا جائے گا اور کہیں لے جا کے ری لوکیٹ کیا جائے گا دیکھ دیکھ کچھ واپس جا رہے ہیں سوفے پہ پڑا جس پہ ہم بیٹھی تھی تو یہ سنیک کو لے جانے کے لیے آئی ہے ہم نے پڑھایا گڈ ہاو یو گڈ مینی سنیکس اراؤنڈ Oh my god. Yeah, there's a few, but I, I cover a broad area, so hmm. that's, uh, that sort of comes with the territory. Hmm. The dangerous ones are out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're only dangerous if you do the wrong thing around them. Hmm. Apart from that, they're, um, even the, uh, the eastern browns and the likes, they're actually quite relaxed. Oh. Hmm. Is, he, is he there? Uh, I can't see where he is at the moment, so I'm just going to get in and have a big crawl oh. around. Uh, once he was discovered, he'll actually go and hide in there now, because he'll oh. be scared. Oh, okay. Uh, they're more scared of us than we are them. In ka kaam bhi dekhen, mushkil. Did you see anything? Yeah, I've got him. Oh! Yeah, I've got him. He's in the back. Oh my god. Is it the same one? Uh, well, I didn't see the first one, but I find it very unlikely that there'll be a second one. I'm just going to get him out here, so give me a bit of room. I want to take a photo. Yeah, absolutely. Don't Please. you can come in. I've got hold of him. And that with about 140 sharp teeth in it. But, you know, you've got to do a lot to them to, um, you know, to get them to bite. I mean, this animal, he's pretty relaxed. Um, he is quite, you know, he's stressed, but as far as his personality goes, he's, he's quite relaxed. He hasn't made any attacks at me. Hmm. So, How old is he? Uh, this one, I'd say potentially about five or six years old. Mm. So they are usually alone or they have a... 
Yeah, this time of year they're just alone. This guy's just a, um, he's a young adult, so he's, um, yeah, he would have just been liking it in there. It's nice and cool. Um, out here in the day, the heat of the day at the moment, it's, um, it's obviously quite warm and a bit warm for them. Hmm. Whereas, um, you know, they, they much prefer to, to be a little bit cool. These guys are nocturnal, hmm. so they usually only come out at night and then they hide through the day. So he'd have just been getting a little bit of warmth before going back to hide in under there. Hmm. And what was he doing there? This... Um, he'd just be keeping an eye out for any mice or rats oh. or, or things like that. That's what these guys predominantly eat. Hmm. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're quite, um, quite relaxed. You know, he's just trying to work it all out. He's very scared at the moment, so... But, as you can see, he's still quite, um, quite relaxed and... He's not very, not showing too many aggressive traits. But that being said, they can turn quite quickly, and that's why they're best left to um, left to the professionals. I'm watching him. I can see what he's thinking. So yeah. So you can read his mind. Not quite, but um, you know they give away <laughs> enough senses. You know they they let me know when they want to bite. They're posturing, the way they look at me, their tongue will start flicking out really rapidly, and the likes. Oh, okay. um, but also, if in the event that he did decide that he's going to go. Well then, I know how to react, and yeah, you know, ultimately, oh, okay. if I'm not fast enough, well, he bites me. You ever got bitten? Yeah, I've been bitten a few times. It comes with the territory. You can only play with these animals so much without, um, without actually getting bitten. Um, I have been bitten by one, yeah, one of these about the same size, and um, yeah, he got me on my finger here. And, but you know, oh my god, he wasn't too bad. That's scary. And what kind of snakes did you find today? Uh, this guy is a coastal carpet python, a Morelia spilota variegata. Um, they're non-venomous. These guys are, are a constrictor. So what they do when they catch their prey, they'll obviously bite onto it. And then they wrap their body around, as you can see him doing there, holding onto my hand. Um, so yeah, they'll grab on and they'll actually squeeze quite tight. So yeah. how big they grow? These guys can grow up to around 12 or 13 feet long. So, you know, well over double the spice size. And do they fight with the other snakes? No. What they'll do in breeding season, which we're, we're out of now, um, that was from basically September through to uh, the beginning of December, hmm. the males will combat each other hmm. uh, for a, a nearby female, which by that they'll actually twist themselves around and then hmm. they'll play wrestles with the tops of their head. Hmm. The whole idea is to use their head to push down and pin the other snake's head. The one that's able to first achieve a pin, hmm. um, well then he wins, the other guy gives up, and then the uh, the winner goes off to um, mate with the female. Oh. So these are a very, very common species. Um, they're, they're very relaxed, they're, they're very uh, social, uh, and they are very adaptable. Um, hmm. I actually own two of these guys, hmm. and that is pets. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I've got uh, one girl, Noodle, she's, um, she's much longer than this one. She's hmm. about eight years old, and she's... Um, She's just over, or nearly 2.2 meters long. Hmm. Um, and then I've got Nugget. He's uh, he's my little guy, and he's you know just a bit shorter than this one. And why did you choose this profession? Uh, well, it, uh, I sort of fell into it. I've always had an interest in snakes. Hmm. I um, I actually used to work at a reptile park down hmm. in New South Wales, hmm. and that where I I worked with these guys as well as I also milked the venomous ones for the anti hmm. Um And yeah, when I moved up here, I um, you know, it was a skill handling them, it was a skill I just had for years. Mm. And then about seven years ago, um, I was helping a friend out and that she'd had a few and um, it's just kind of snowballed from there. So. He doesn't like me very no, much. No, he's just watching to see what you're doing. He's uh. scared. See, these guys, they see the world in black and white. It's either something they can eat or something that's going to eat them. Obviously, we're way too big for them to eat. Mm. So he seriously thinks that mm. one of us is about to eat him. Oh, so that's, he's actually really quite scared at the moment. Hmm. That's why he's watching. He's trying to find a way to escape, but he's seeing all these heat blooms everywhere. Hmm. Okay, all their movement. That's why he's focusing more on you than on me because of the amount of movement around. Because I'm walking. I'm staying dead still. And we'll get so. this guy a couple of kilometres down the road into the bush. Hmm. And that where he's nice and safe and away from everyone. Oh. When he stands up. Uh, they're actually heat picks. They're not teeth. Oh. And that these are these guys hunt by infrared, so by body heat. Hmm. 
And yeah, what you can actually see down the side, they're called heat pits. Now they've got more right on the tip of their nose. Now they're very, very, very sensitive. They can actually pick up down to 100th of a degree variance. So, you know, it's 0 0.001 of a degree difference they can pick up and determine through these heat pits. They're incredibly sensitive. And that's why, you know, they're, they're so adept at, at hunting at night when it's much cooler. You know, they can see any form of heat, you know, miles away. Oh, amazing creatures. Oh, they are. You know, they're, they're very much maligned, you know, misunderstood. Um, these guys, you know, even the, the venomous ones, you know, the Eastern Browns and the likes, you know, they're, they're quite relaxed. Once you actually know how to interact with the animal, hmm. um, you know, they're like me. As you see, he's, he's not worried about me in the slightest. He's actually holding on to me for security. <laughs> so, so, yeah, he's quite relaxed, aren't you? No matter what, I'm not falling in love. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, leave that to me. I love yeah, oh, so, no. yeah, my girls and my oldest daughter's a, a licensed catcher as well. And oh. my youngest daughter, she's um she turns fifteen tomorrow. She's uh, learning to catch red belly blacks this year. Okay. So, oh, so yeah, they, they uh, the safe. girls love it. My wife absolutely hates those terrified of them. <laughs> but um yeah. Oh. So who wants to give her a name? Pardon? I said who would like to give her a name? Uh, female. Yeah, hmm? she's a girl, it's so female. give her a name. She is a female. Yes. Yeah, I can tell by the tail. It's going to be abstract. Abstract? Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I like to uh, give all my snakes names and, and potentially, you know, or as you see, I, uh, I like to have my clients, you know, pick a nice name for them. So, yeah. 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 all right, sweetie, let's get you in the bag, hey? Aww. Call her Abby for short. Come on. Oh, Abby Namo again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice Abby thing. Abby. Yeah, nice thing. Okay, come on. Hello, darling. Come on, in we go. Come on, in that bag. Just in a little bit. Come on. I don't want to use the hoop bag on you. Come here. Come, Miss Abs. Abby, come on. In you go. Oh, belt me with that tail. Oh, hey, la. Nee, She doesn't want to go. No, she, uh, she goes, hang on, I was all nice and cozy and then I got put in. <laughs> She's getting oh, angry. Go. Abby, in. Good girl. There you go. Come on. In you go, sweetheart. In you go. Good girl. There you Chalabi. go. Abby to Chali Gang. They can get me Hushander. So that's the happy ending? That's it. Aww. She's all good. And then, uh, as I said, I'll take a couple of kilometres down the road, hmm. right away from you guys, and that's somewhere in. Far better for her, hmm. far better for you, and oh, um, thank you. Yeah, and then I'll uh, I'll send you some photos. Yes, please. Yes, please. The snake's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the snake's gone now. In the bag, in the top, so that thank way it can you. have a bit of a rest. Oh, yeah. Don't oh, no. to come back. <laughs> I've, uh, in seven years as a snake catcher, I've never actually had a snake return back to where I've got it from. Hmm. So uh, yeah, the odds are pretty good. You're not going to see it again. <laughs> but you know, obviously, all the bushland around, everything you want, you are at risk of snakes. Um, yeah, no one. Uh, no, <laughs> these guys, they emit a high frequency sound, an ultrasonic sound. Hmm. Snakes are deaf. They have no ears. No vibration feeling or anything? No, the vibrations, and uh, these ones, and uh, the snakes will pick up the vibration, but the, uh, the ones like the shore guards and everything, they use a 10 ounce weight hmm. to try and simulate a horse or a cow. Hmm. It's not going to happen. Those, we find that actually the snakes are more attracted to those shore guards hmm. simply because they remind them of, of mice or possums or things like this uh, running around. And uh, that's what they, you know, they eat those. Hmm. So it's more likely to bring the snakes in. Hmm. Um, I've got a, a large brown snake, you know, nearly as big as uh, there's any there. Hmm. Um, two weeks ago out in Wamuran in a yard that had 25 of these snake, like these vibrating snake deterrents. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> there's only been a snake within two weeks, but yeah. They just simply, there's absolutely no scientific evidence that they work. Huh. And the number of properties I came out and, and actually relocated the snakes that have either had them huh. and had the snakes in close proximity to them. I even found one and asleep on one. So huh. they don't work. So anything which works? Uh, keep your yard clean is the best thing you can do. Huh. I mean, literally, what you've got here is great. You've got a big expanse of just lawn. Huh. Um, so, yeah, 
you know, pythons like that, they they travel at night, so they're not going to be too bad. Hmm. But you know, the the dangerous ones like the eastern browns, the red bellies, and the like. They're going to be very disinclined to come up here because they've got so much open space. Oh, they, they come cover. here. So they'll stay off in the bush where they're okay. okay? Uh, they like to live under the deck as well. Uh, some do, but it's mainly, it's cool, you know, it's a, a nice yeah. comfortable temperature for them. Hmm. Um, yeah, and usually that's where they can, uh, you know, rats and mice or anything like that might move. Hmm. And they'll follow it through there, oh, okay. chase them down and, yeah. uh, and snack on them. Yeah. But I didn't find any traces of rats or mice. I did find a few cane toads hmm. and obviously Abby, so... Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes.